Mustangmatic.com. We take the frustration out of Day one, day so, Mustangmatic.com. Still need to get the uh, pop metal circle uh, cosmetic rings. So you say it only has surface rings? that's a complete front really? end, guys. We still got to plug in the lights and everything. And there's the uh, scoop on And he's going to be working on the wheel. MustangMedic.com Introducing Matt's 1972 Mach 1. Here we go, guys. All right, so we did a road trip yesterday and went out to Dana to pick up Matt's FMX transmission. Here are the details on that. And, of course, Dana was full of details. So basically, your wife's got a bunch of a bunch of pots and pans that she's not going to use, but she looks she's good. She's not a cooker. I know. You know she's what I mean? A, she's a poser. Oh, he said it oh, on video. He said it on. He said his wife's a poser on video. Here's the, here's the FMX. FMX. This is your Matt. This is your rebuilt transmission. When Dana tags it, it means he's proud of it, and he rebuilt the whole trans. So. I don't know if I'm proud of it. But oh, come on, you got to be proud of your work. I got to make it. Who else tags their work? Who else tags their work? Yeah, well, we do. Let's, We're starting to. Let's see if we get this bad boy up here. You're, I can't believe I got this up on the back of last time. I like kind of just watching and shooting video. This is kind of pleasurable to me. All right, so there it is. FMX uh, torque converter rebuilt and resealed and built on the inside and all that fun stuff. Double check it. Make sure they didn't give you a C6 on the back. Oh, look. He gives us a seal for the... For the um, Speedometer, uh -huh. speedometer. Very oh, nice. do you guys remember how, how much this was in here? How hard that was? You couldn't budge that, could you? No. You know when these come in here frozen? Oh my God, they're a bear, they're a bear to get out. That's a beautiful thing coming out. Yeah. So, anyways, you have a new O-ring on here, and it's greased, and you can actually move it and take it out and install it now. But this was frozen in here so hard. Where's the O-ring for that? Huh? Is there an O-ring? Was there an O-ring in there? Oh, oh, I didn't see it. Okay. Ready to go. You can pull this out though, and uh, install the trans before he couldn't budge this thing. It wouldn't rotate or do anything. Right. And uh, they come in because it's a steel tube and an iron case. Yeah. They literally just rust together like you don't even know. And it's work to get them out. Yeah, it is. So I have a special tool I use. I drive them out from the bottom side. And uh, I made it to the bottom of the filter so it doesn't flare it. I don't want to flare the tube and stuff on it. Yeah, this is, Dan, and, this is uh, Dana's fourth FMX Trans he's done for us, I believe. Third one. Third, third one? one? Yes, it's number three. That's number three? Number three. Anyway. Oh, there's a fourth one. Wait, and am I listen, missing something? I'm telling your guy here. What's your name again? Gary. 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 That's right, Gary. Uh, I want to say Mike, but Mike's the other guy. That Mike's was... the other guy. Okay, is he still there? Oh, yeah, what yeah, is he still good. there? He's say been here for like Mike. a month. <laughs> He's the man. Thank you, Lord. Mike's He's the manager the... of Mustang Medic. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so we have a manager. I'm okay. just the talent. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you are the talent here. Anyways, uh, when you guys pull these out, that's, that was a joke, guys. Mounts by the way. Off, see here on the bottom, these studs, very hard to slide these around, especially on your regular. That thing's shot, too. It needs a new That's the donor. I bolted it back on so you'd have one to match up, but I was excited. Yeah, place. trans mount, mount. Always, we need you know to what? Add. Always put a new mount on these. They're not expensive. You can buy those things over at O'Reilly's over there, and I think I paid nine dollars for the early Mustang ones. All right, Ooh. sounds like, it sounds on like eBay, it. There's like guys on eBay think they're gold. They try and sell for twenty five dollars. Yeah, Matt, sounds like a bonus add to your project. I'm not going to hit you with that. We'll just put it on for you because it's already out. All right, so here we go. Watch your back, Gary. You want to, Gary? You want to turn that thing around, that no, bad boy? No, 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 so the leave, torque it, leave it right there one second, because I'm going to pull the converter out real quick. Oh, we're, we're, we're pulling. Make we're, sure we have a twenty nine splice turbine in this thing here because if it's a 31 for a c6 and it's gonna give me the wrong converter i'm gonna get a shaft and give it oh a okay we're gonna make sure we get the right we're gonna make sure we get the right torque converter before we leave i thought that uh, there'd be that space savings if i have it I no you gotta that's the exactly the way you want it because the torque converter won't fall out when ah, you're driving. I didn't think about that. Yeah, because we hit the brakes, the torque converter is going to come forward, no, but it won't come problem. forward enough. No we, always receive, we always receive them after we do it. Absolutely. So there it is, Brian. There is your um, C4, all resealed. There's one of the brand new seals from the back. And I'll show you the, all the details on the other side um, when we take it apart. But uh, good news that those were not cracks for Brian's. Good news. And sometimes what Dana does when it's a, like a racing trans or something, they polish all that out and make it nice, pretty, and smooth. But uh, we're not going that way with Brian. We're just getting this trans working to work with his rebuilt 289, which should be coming shortly. Because we are looking to get the crank um, uh, ground down. We're working on that right now for him. And we've already started the painting on the underbody and inside the edge compartment. So it should be ready to get received when we bolt on his new sealed um, C4. Not rebuilt but resealed, and uh, his 289, which is going to be pretty, 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 pretty. Uh, I'm sure he's going to go with the Ford Blue, and we're going to have to contrast the headers and the valve covers. It's going to be real pretty when uh, Brian's car is done. 
because I don't have a 29 spline input shaft loose to stick in the converter, when these guys bring the converters back to me, I want to make sure that they didn't goof, accidentally give me a, an F30 or something with a 31 spline, C6 spline. If we were to put that in with a smaller spline shaft, you'd fire the car up, it wouldn't move anywhere. So we'd have a pump operating, but no application through the input shaft. So to test it, I'm going to take it to 31 spline input shaft, and I'm going to put that in here. And I know it's the uh, it's much larger than 26 or 24 C4 one, and there I put a 31, I can't get it in there, so it's the only other option. We have the correct converter back. So. Anyway, simple, uh, you know. Did you do that with the C4 too, or does it doesn't matter? Huh? Did you, did you check the converters? Oh, you didn't do anything with the converter on the no, C4. No, your C4 converter is the original one in there. I keep so. forgetting that, sorry. Yeah, that's an early model, 65, 66. All your 69 earlier ones are all 24 spline. Okay. And they're easy to tell. When you pull them out, the splines are the same length on both ends. It's a three quarter inch diameter shaft. Uh, 1970, they went to the 835 shaft, which is a 26 spline uh, turbine side. In fact, in 1970, they had a 26 spline forward clutch side also, just that one year. You see the knowledge base in this so, guy? He's just like, look how much information in he's 71, got. In 71, they went to a 24 spline, uh, 835 diameter uh, shaft for the drum, so you can't put them in backwards. They have different lengths on the splines on each end, so you wouldn't want to put them in backwards on that early one, so. Right now, everybody's wishing I was like. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. So you say it only has surface rust? Really? Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon.